How's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be replacing some duct work. With this particular customer, all the ducts are in the basement and they're wanting to get some more headroom. So we're gonna replace the old round duct and we're gonna go with some rectangle duct to get it nice and tight to the ceiling. Let's do some work. All right, so this is what we're working with here. We got this main supply. Here's the return duct running all the way down to where it connects to the package unit. So basically we're gonna be taking all the main trunk out, putting in eight by, by eight by 20, I believe, rectangle duct all the way down and then reconnecting all the branch lines. That way we can get maximum headroom for this new space that they're utilizing. So check out this gaping hole here on this return. You can see all the dust. So we're gonna take all that out, repaint it, seal it up properly. Now that we got all the duct out of the way, the next step is to get all these wire strapped up and out of the way because we're going to need this whole area to come through and we need to figure out what we're going to do with that get this thermostat cable stapled up so it's out of the way this is nothing but old wire so we can just get that out of the way this light's not even connected so that's nice we just out the way. Ooh, I got you. When it comes to sealing the ducts, I like to use the SF686 by Sure Tape. This is a very easy tape to use. I like the three inch wide. Um, it's just super easy to apply and a lot quicker and less messy than traditional duck mud. But like any tape, you wanna make sure you use a squeegee. That squeegee is gonna make sure that you're applying the tape very firmly to the material, no air gaps. And what it does is it basically activates that adhesive on the tape and it creates a very airtight bond. When it comes to the insulation, Sure Tape has the FF100. This tape is exactly designed for this reflective type insulation, so it sticks very nicely. But again, using a squeegee, the way to go. All right, so I just picked up the new Malco Turbo Crimper. It goes on your impact. I'm using the M12 Milwaukee, but uh, I've never actually used this before, and it's supposed to crimp your pipe very fast. So uh, I've seen the guys use it on Instagram, and it looks like they kind of start off at an angle to get it on there okay that's first i'm gonna go in the second as far as the speed goes look at that ha! that's fantastic so you gotta love when the framers frame around your boot that's where the flex is supposed to hook up to so the plan was to remove that straight boot and put a 90 boot so the flex could turn immediately and run in, in that bay all the way over to the main trunk. But when they added this wall, they framed right up in there. So now I got to move all that out the way and try to get that boot out. Come on, guys. Let's work together. Alright, so it is now the next day. 
we had to peel off and uh, go take care of some other jobs. So now we are back to finish up. We're going to get this return strapped up all the way to this point here. And then we're going to actually kick it over with a 45 and then another 45 to shoot towards the opening there. So... So here's a little tip. If you're trying to pull some insulation in a very tight spot, you can tape on some uh, metal strap or really anything that's stiff to fish it over the duct and then you can pull it through and you're good to go. So I'm just gonna grab the squeegee and go over these tape joints one last time just to make sure everything is good and sealed. Okay, so here is the finished product. Rectangle ducks all the way down. 45's over, 45's back. And then for now, it just taps in to the bottom of there. So, turned out nice. Lots more headroom than before. Well, that's going to complete today's video, guys. I really hope you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. Woo!